Hello grade sixes. Today we're gonna learn about separating of mixtures. So many times we will find mixtures that is already mixed together and how to separate them is what we are going to learn about today. So follow me in your textbook, go back to your textbook and go and read through the um, different kinds of separating methods. So grade six is the first method that we are going to look at is hand sorting. Then we're going to look at sieving. Then we're going to learn about settling. Then we're going to learn about decanting. And also the last one we're going uh, gonna to learn about filtering. Hand sorting is a method that I literally use my hands and I separate two big uh, solids with one another. So for example, peanuts and raisins. I put the raisins on one side and the peanuts on the other side or different colors of Smarties. I take the blue Smarties, I put them together with the yellow Smarties on the other side. Sieving is a method that I'm going to use also to separate solids with one another. Maybe in this um, uh, experiment we're going to use smaller solids, for example sand and rice. So I take the sand and rice mixture, I put in, it inside of the sieve and I shake the sieve from side to side. I've got a bucket at the bottom that catch up the sand because the sand particles are smaller, they go through the sieve but the rice remain inside of the sieve and that is how I separated that mixture. You know that we can do it also with baking of um, bread when I have to separate the bran from the flour. Okay, and then settling. Settling is where I have a mixture of li a liquid and a solid, for example sand and, and water. So when I've shaken the, the sand and water mixture, the sand and water is mixed together and if I put it uh, on the shelf or I put it on my desk and I leave it for a while, the sand will go and settle at the bottom and the water will stay at the top because the sand is heavier than the water so it will settle at the bottom of the cup or the container. And then after I've done some settling, I can use the method of decanting. Now decanting is where I literally take the, the, the mixture that I've just settled and I take the container and I pour out the water in another container very slowly. Um, very slowly I pour the water inside of another container and then I use the method of decanting. I must do it slowly. If I'm doing it uh, in a fast way, the sand will go with. So then uh, eventually the sand will stay inside of the container, but the water will be in another container. The last method is filtering. Filtering is where I have a funnel and I put in some fil uh, filtering paper inside of the funnel and I take a, a mixture of sand and water. I pour it into the funnel with the filtering paper inside of it. And the water will eventually uh, drop for drop go through the filter paper, through the funnel, into the container at the bottom. And the sand will remain inside of the filter paper and that is how I use the method of filtering. Filtering paper can be thin or thick depending on how clean I want my um, mixture to separate from one another and my water to be at the bottom. So this is the methods. I hope you have learned something and then make sure that you go back to your textbook and go and read for yourself about the separating methods as well.